The day many Samsung fans have been waiting for is finally here. After weeks of speculation and beta testing, the official, stable version of One UI 8 has finally dropped. It's a hefty update, clocking in at around 3 gigabytes, and it promises smoother animations, refined Galaxy AI, deeper lock screen customization, and dozens of small quality of life improvements. On paper, this is Samsung at its best, evolving an already polished skin and bringing even more functionality to Galaxy devices. But here's the thing. With every new release, we don't just look for shiny new features. We also hold on to the hope that long-standing bugs and frustrations will finally be addressed. That when we hit download on that massive update file, we're getting more than just tweaks and gimmicks, we're getting fixes for the issues that have been haunting users for months, if not years. So in this video, I want to do something different. I'm not going to walk you through every single toggle or menu that One UI 8 has added. Instead, I want to focus on what hasn't changed, the persistent, frustrating problems that Samsung has still not fixed. Over the past day, I've been testing the update, and I've zeroed in on three of the most reported pain points from One UI 7, the broken Registar module inside good lock, the infamous grayed-out OEM unlocking toggle, and the ongoing mystery of battery drain. And unfortunately, the results are not encouraging. Let's start with good lock. For power users, this app suite is the beating heart of Samsung customization. It lets you redesign your recent app screen, tweak your keyboard, and theme nearly every part of your phone. Among its modules, Registar stands out as one of the most powerful. It allows you to reorder the settings menu, assign backtap shortcuts, and customize the side key in ways that Samsung's default options simply don't allow. But throughout the One UI 7 era, many users couldn't even install Registar. Tapping the module inside GoodLock would redirect to the Galaxy Store, only to throw up a vague error, can't download. This content is no longer available. No error code, no explanation, just a dead end. People tried VPNs, sideloading, clearing cache, nothing worked consistently. It became a widely documented frustration, and naturally, everyone assumed One UI 8 would bring a fix. So after installing the update, one of the first things I did was check. I opened GoodLock, tapped on Registar, and the same error message appeared. Still broken. Still inaccessible. And that's a huge letdown. For Samsung to roll out an entirely new OS version and not fix a flagship module in its own customization suite is baffling. It tells users that these deeper personalization tools, the very things that set Galaxy devices apart, are simply not a priority. For enthusiasts who rely on Registar, One UI 8 begins with disappointment. Now let's move on to something even more fundamental, OEM unlocking. For Android enthusiasts, this toggle in developer options is the gateway to full device ownership. It's the first step toward unlocking the bootloader, flashing custom ROMs, and gaining root access. It represents the open, modifiable nature of Android. But on Samsung devices, that toggle has been notoriously problematic. For years, countless users have found it grayed out, visible, but unusable. Carrier lock devices are one thing, but this bug has plagued even international, unlocked models. The general belief was that you had to wait seven days after activating your device before the toggle became available. But for many, even after the wait, the option stayed stubbornly grey. Users have tried every trick in the book, changing system dates, rebooting repeatedly, removing SIM cards, anything that might trigger the switch. Occasionally it worked, but for most, it didn't. The core problem seemed to be how Samsung's software talks to its activation servers, a glitchy handshake that left users locked out of their own hardware. Surely, with One UI 8, this would be fixed. A brand new baseband, new firmware, new everything. But when I checked on my freshly updated device, the toggle was now wiped out completely. No progress, no solution. And that's more than a bug, it's a statement. It signals that Samsung doesn't value the enthusiast community that keeps its devices relevant years after release. People who want to tinker, extend device lifespan, or experiment with privacy tools are left frustrated and shut out. It's one of the clearest signs that Samsung's priorities don't align with user freedom. 
And finally, let's talk about battery life, the one issue that affects every user, not just power enthusiasts. Every software update comes with the promise of better optimization, improved stability, and longer battery life. And every time, people hope this will be the update that finally delivers. But with One UI 7, a huge number of users complained of abnormal idle drain. Phones would lose 15 to 20% overnight with no clear explanation, while system services like Android System or Mobile Network Standby were the usual suspects. During the One UI 8 beta, testers reported that battery drain hadn't improved, and in some cases, had gotten worse. The expectation was that the stable release would fix things. So far, though, reports, and my own experience, suggest the problem persists. Idle drain is still common, and screen on time hasn't significantly improved. And while it's true that new updates take a few days to settle, the early signs don't inspire confidence. Users are once again resorting to deep sleep settings, disabling background features, and wiping cache partitions to try and claw back battery life. It's frustrating, because a major OS update should solve problems, not recycle them. So where does that leave us? With One UI 8, Samsung has introduced fresh polish and features, yes. But it's also dragged forward some of the ugliest bugs from the past. Registar in GoodLock still refuses to install for many users. The OEM unlocking toggle remains broken, locking people out of true device control. And the persistent specter of battery drain continues to hang over Galaxy devices. For a company that prides itself on leading the Android ecosystem, that's not good enough. A 3GB update should deliver more than cosmetic upgrades. It should deliver reliability, consistency, and fixes for the issues that users have been shouting about for years. And until Samsung starts treating these problems with the urgency they deserve, One UI will always feel like it's falling short of its potential. And don't go anywhere just yet. I know you're here because you want to get the absolute most out of your smartphone. Over on the left of the screen, you will find my deep dive into the best hidden features of One UI 7, many of which are still perfectly relevant and incredibly useful in One UI 8. It's the perfect companion to this video, focusing on the powerful things that actually do work. And over on the right of the screen, I have my ultimate guide to optimizing your Samsung phone's battery life. It's packed with tips and tricks that might just help you combat some of the battery drain issues we discussed today. If you were amazed by the level of detail in this video, you are absolutely going to love those ones too. They are packed with the same practical, in-depth information you've come to expect from this channel.